Don't you just hate those items that are sitting around in your eBay account for months or more and they're just not selling? You checked over your photos, you looked at your title, you checked out your keywords, you did your comps research, you know that it sells, you've seen it, it's sold previously, you have it at the lowest possible price right now on eBay and it's still not moving even though you have multiple watchers on it? What if there was a secret and funny way to sell some of those items and fast? That's what I'm going to share with you today. Now, I am calling it a secret technique because I've never heard anyone uh, discuss it before. I mean, maybe someone did. I just never heard of it. I came up with this this morning and within about an hour, it resulted in five sales. So I could not stop laughing that this worked. And so I said, I've got to share this with you. I was going to do a what sold video uh, for you, but uh, this was just too funny. So I had to share it. So let me share my screen with you, speaking of sharing, and I'll show you how to apply this. You'll want to modify it to your particular business model. Now I'm going into the active listings page in Seller Hub. So you just click on listings there. And if you want to know how to get the Seller Hub, because sometimes people have asked me that, just click on my eBay and then click on selling and that'll bring you right into it. And you want to go over to this section here that says send offers eligible. Now, if you think that what I'm going to tell you is just send out offers, well, not really, because remember, the items that I want you to start off uh, doing this with are items that are already at your lowest price point. In other words, if you had make an offer on it at some point when it was priced higher, you would have turned it off by the time it's at whatever price it is at now and it's still not selling because you can't accept anything lower than that and still make money. And remember, we're not really in business to uh, break even or to lose money. We're in business to make money. So everyone's going to have a different price point for that in terms of what your lowest uh, you know, prices that you could accept. It depends on what you sell. It depends on how much you acquire your inventory for. It depends also on whether or not you do free shipping, calculated shipping, you know, fixed price shipping, all those things you have to weigh into it. Now, for my particular business model, I don't sell anything lower than $9.99. That's because I sell a lot of uh, books and light items that I could ship out media mail or first class. So the total shipping is going to be somewhere between $2.80 and $5.53. So even factoring in fees for these types of items, which are typically less leftovers from big lots that I've already made my money back on, you know, I'm just trying to move them out. And these would be things I could still make between $4 and like $6 and change on, which, you know, I'm fine with given that they're leftovers and I have other items in my store that sell for much more uh, money than that. But it's annoying to have these items just sticking around for a couple of reasons. So number one, they're going to stick around in your send offers list here because since they're already at the lowest price point, you can't really send an offer out for them. I mean, you you could technically, but it just doesn't make sense for your business because you don't want to go lower than whatever that number is uh, for you. And there's no way, eBay doesn't allow you to take those items out. So you're going to look at them and stare at them week after week after week. I've had someone even message me about that uh, in the comment section about how annoying that is. So that's number one. But number two, if you think it's annoying, it's also annoying to your customers that come back and keep seeing that item over and over. Imagine, for example, you go into a regular brick and mortar store and you just see the same item sitting there all the time, not moving. That's not a good look. You want to have fresh turnover of inventory. It keeps your store exciting. So that's important to keep in mind, which is all the more reason to try this technique out that I'm going to show you. Now, you're not going to see... Uh, any $9.99 items here because I already sent out my offers uh, on those this morning uh, as part of this experiment. Um, but let's just say, for example, um, we'll, we'll just use our imagination a little bit here. This is an item that I showed you at the estate sale hall video uh, this weekend, this uh, Greek bottle opener. Let's just say, for sake of example, that the lowest I could go on this item is $14.99 for my business model. Let's just say that, okay? Now, Let's also say that I originally listed it at $24.99 and that each week after it didn't sell, I lowered it by a dollar. And eventually it got to this $14.99 
price point, okay? So now we're kind of stuck, right? What do we do? Now it might have five watchers, might have six watchers. You could have sent out offers previously uh, and it didn't move. Let me go over back to uh, active listings here. I just lost the page here for a second, but let's go back to it and go to send offers eligible and we'll go back down here. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to go here and I want you to change the price. Now, up it to wherever you feel is, you know, a comfortable price point for you. Let's say it's $19.99, okay? So you change it to $19.99. You think that's still, when I say comfortable, it's something that you still think it's reasonable. Maybe someone would pay that. So you, you put that down. So we're going to change the price. Okay, so there you go. Now it's changed to $19.99, right? So now you're gonna go to send offers and you're going to put in the price that it's been sitting at for the longest time. Now I'll just show you, I'll sh I've shared this before, you know, my, my message that I use to try to convince people to buy the items. I say, you and the other watchers have been selected for a special exclusive offer to get this item at a discounted price if you buy it now act soon because this offer won't last long and whoever responds first will get it. Boom. Send it out. Now I'm not going to send this out because uh, I was just using this as an example, but I did this this morning with all of my $9.99 items and I increased the price to $14.99 and then sent out offers of $9.99 on all those items. And within an hour of doing that, sold right there for $9.99, sold for $9.99, sold for $9.99, sold for $9.99, sold for $9.99. So that's $50 in gross sales right there. These comics, for example, now I know this is a great deal on these comics. And what happens sometimes is that and they've been sitting there for over a year. It's crazy. Now, the thing is, is that why this works, and there's a couple of reasons. Number one is that there's a lot of people who they watch items and they forget it. I've had people tell me that they'll get an offer on something and, you know, not obviously this situation is just something I came up with right now, but I've just had other times I've sent out offers and someone will say, oh, thanks for the offer. I totally forgot that I was even watching it. So you can have people, for example, who started watching it at a higher price point. They could have started watching that set maybe when I had it at $19.99. And then they just forgot about it. And then they see an offer come in. They see it priced at $14.99. So they might think, wow, if they do remember it, wow, it's even it was reduced to $14.99 and now it's at $9.99. Wow, yeah, I totally forgot about that. That's a good deal. I'll jump on it. Or they might remember that you had it at one point at $9.99, but now they see, oh man, because maybe they were just waiting to see if you were going to lower it even more than that. But you know, you're know, you not, and it's going to be obvious that you're not because you're going to send out this offer with it priced at a higher point. So you've moved it up to $14.99. Now you send it back at the original price and the person might just say, you know what? It's obvious this person isn't going to go lower than that. I'll just take it now. And so they buy it. It's one of those two things. And there you go. I mean, these people just snagged it up. Now, keep in mind that the people who could buy these things are not just watchers, uh, even though it's called offers to watchers, it's really offers to potential buyers because they're also using people who put it in their cart but never checked out. So that's actually another reason. Someone could just have it sitting in their cart. They might not be a real active eBay user and just sitting there and they just forgot to check out with it. And now this reminds them of it, okay? Um, so, so that's another uh, possibility. And also eBay uh, more recently has been sending out offers to people who have just come by and just looked at your item for the first time. And so eBay looks at that as like active interest. And so you might wind up getting an offer sent out to you if you have automatic offers turned on, by the way, um, pretty quickly after that. But eBay will still count that as a person who could potentially receive an offer from you if you decide to send it out manually. So there's all different ways in which uh, potential buyers could get um, offers from your items. 
But you know, the other thing that I like about this technique is that it's different from putting your items on sale for everybody to see and then reducing the price. You could still do that if you want, but just keep in mind for most of the times when people run sales like that, they are putting the price at a point that they never, like the, the price that they're discounting from, the base price was never actually a price that they ever had it for sale at. So for example, some people will do a 25% off sale They'll put something up for $75. They'll put the base price up at 100, but they never ever had it up at 100 at any point. So this is actually a different than that because you actually had it at this price point at one point, but you're you truly are selling it. You it truly is a sale in that sense because it's a sale off of what you previously had the the item up for. The other thing that's good about it is that it's going to bump the price up now for everybody to, let's say if it was $9.99, you bumped it up to $14.99. You know, just because you changed the price and you increased it, that's enough to bring some freshness and uh, some new activity and attention back to the listing. And there's a chance that somebody might come in and just by chance buy it at $14.99. So that's possible. So now you increase the chance that you might even get uh, a higher price uh, for that item. So that's another thing. And then in addition to that, you're giving that person the feel who gets that offer that they're getting a personalized deal that's not blanketly available to everyone. So when you use those general uh, sale approaches in which you're discounting off of that base to everybody, everybody's seeing that. This is something that's just going to select people and they might say, you know what? this is a good deal. I'm going to grab this, or I should have grabbed this a while ago. I'm going to grab it now. It kind of reminds them. So it's a way to bring freshness back to those listings. Now you could use this technique with, you know, now that I think about it with other items that maybe haven't been sitting around so long. So let me, I'll give you an example of that um, right here. So let me go up now this sign I've sold all of my Christmas signs, except this one, which is priced really fairly with the free shipping. It's $29.99. Uh, and I really don't want to, I, I've sold all my signs for that price. I started this out higher. It was at $39.99 at one point, or maybe even a little higher than that. And now it's at $29.99. I'm not going any lower than that. But technically, you know, what I could do now, since it's been sitting around for a little bit and it's Christmas season, I could just increase the price right now to $39.99. 99. So here, let's even do that. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to even, I had it up at four, these signs up at 49.99 at one point. So I'm going to put it at 49.99. And now here's what I'm going to do. I'm just experimenting with you live right here. I'm going to send an offer out for 29.99 and we'll see what happens. Cause now people feel like, wow, that's, you know, 20, 20 bucks off the price. So I'm just going to paste in my, my offer right there. So you could see exactly what I'm doing. Let me take that off, send offers. So there you go. So who knows, maybe that one will sell. So that's another way that you could use this technique. Again, these are for uh, items um, that you're already, again, at the lowest price point and you know, you're just not normally going to send an offer on them. So it, it kind of gets you out from feeling stuck. And it, it brings you back in charge of the situation. So you don't feel helpless and powerless and like you just have to sit there and look at all these stale items sitting there. So please try this technique. I really want to see if it works for you. Give it a few hours, maybe even give it 24 hours, send them all out at once and let me know if it's working and bringing you sales. It's, I mean, for, for it to bring in five sales in an hour, that's just not a coincidence. I wasn't going to do it if I made one or two sales, but five in an hour, uh, they're all behind me right there. I got to go ship them all out. So I got to end this video in a minute. Um, but, uh, and I've got some other things going on tonight. So if you like this tip, by the way, please make sure that you hit the like button, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and share it with somebody else. Um, if you think they could benefit from it uh, as well, turn on your notifications uh, for when I go live. I've got, um, two live events going on. One tonight that is not on my channel. It's on uh, Kat's channel, Kat the Nurse Flipper. So go over there. We're going to be talking with you. It's going to be a group panel. Uh, Rockstar Flipper is going to be there. It's going to be a fun time. So go over to that. And then also 
uh, tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So that's November 4th. You don't want to miss it. Uh, Dave and I, Dave the Midwest Picker, are going to have a really fun show. Uh, so you don't want to miss that. Uh, come over for that one as well. And I hope to see you there. So I hope you enjoyed the video, everyone. I hope it brings you some sales and helps you get rid of some of that inventory. All right, everyone. I'll see you back the next one. Take care.